Hello everyone and welcome to our Discover 3 video series. We are looking at Ninja Forms 3.0 and all of the things that are coming with it. Now Ninja Forms 3, just so you know, is already available. We haven't launched the official 3.0 version, but if you're using the most recent nin uh, version of Ninja Forms, Ninja Forms 3 is already on your site somewhere. Now the issue is you have to be using 3.0 compatible add-ons in order to get the upgrade notice. Uh, and that's just kind of as a protection so that people don't end up accidentally um, updating to the 3.0 code base, but they're still using add-ons that aren't yet compatible, and then it ends up breaking forms or having problems like that. So as a protection, we've just said if you're using 3.0 compatible add-ons only, you'll get a notice in your admin uh, inviting you to upgrade. And so that's what's going on. So there have been a few add-ons. We've, we've released probably about... I want to say six or seven add-ons that are 3.0 compatible. And today I'm excited to say uh, that we are showcasing what is coming, the layout and styles add-on for 3.0 compatibility. So if you're using Ninja Forms and layout and styles 3.0, you should get an update notice soon in your admin uh, inviting you to upgrade to the 3.0 code base. And now I want to show you what you're going to get when you upgrade. So this is the new uh, Ninja Forms builder. It looks similar. And right now, Layout and Styles is activated. There's no longer a new tab to go to to do your layout. You actually build your layout right in the same builder that you build your form. Uh, we tried to go for a, a, a what we're calling a UI-less uh, interface. So there's no additional UI elements. There's no buttons to add a column. There's no buttons to add a row. You just add fields, and you drag things around, and that's how you build your layout. So let me show you how that works. Uh, for instance, if we wanted to build a message-focused contact form, I can take this message and drag. And when I do, you'll see it kind of uh, expands and gives a little bit of spacing, so I can drop the green as same as in Ninja Forms 3.0. It's where you drop your fields, so you can resort your fields if you wanted to uh, and kind of put them wherever you want, which is great. But you can also just drag, and you'll see these blue bars on the sides, and if you drop on them, it actually splits that into a two column form. So now I have two columns here with my message on the left, my name on the right. And now I can easily grab these other fields and drop them in. And now I have a two column form. If I preview this form, you can see right there I have a very simple two column form with my submit button and uh, you know name and email over here and my message over here. I can actually resize these columns too, so I'm not stuck to just a 50-50 column set. If even with two columns, I can grab this bar, and you'll see that those the words up here, 50% on either side, and as I drag them left or right, they readjust, letting me know what percentage I'm I'm dealing with. So if I wanted to really make that message box bigger, let's say we bring it over to like 35 and 65%, and then when I refresh my preview. You'll see the message is the focal point, and it just dynamically fills that out. So we're really excited about that. That's kind of a, a, a really big deal. Uh, it, it makes it really easy to, to style out your forms. We can do more with this, too. Say we wanted to create, put an image on one side and the form on the other. Before, you would have to know some HTML and inside your post editor you'd do that. But now you can do it actually all within your form. So I can bring the message over here. And this is now empty. So I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a HTML field. So I can just do some markup. And I'm going to drop it right in there. And now when I edit this, I'm going to open up the media and just grab an image and kind of drop that in there. And now when I preview my form, I've got this contact form on one side and the image on the other. And of course I can dial that in. The image is, in, is only so wide, so if I move it over I can create a little more space where the image stops and, and I can go the other way as well. So that's really cool. Now you're not stuck with only two columns, so you can actually make some other adjustments. So let's get out of our contact form and grab a longer form. And let's break this down into a multi-column display. So first and last name we'll have beside each other. Phone and email, we'll put them beside each other. Uh, let's go ahead and leave the address as a full width. And let's take city, state, and zip and turn them into three columns. And we know that we don't really need that much space for this zip and state, so let's just bring those down to like uh, 25 and 25. And there we go. And then our paragraph text. 
and uh, oops, I'm previewing the wrong form. Let me uh, go open a new preview. And there we go. Two columns, single column, three columns, really easy to build. We built that really fast and we have a lot of control over this. So you're not limited to the number of columns that you want. So for instance, if I want to drop more columns in here, I can keep going for quite a quite a ways. You just have to keep in mind that the, the how many columns you can have is not really limited. Ninja Forms is not limited to how many columns you can have. I mean, I guess they're about one percent width at a max at a minimum, so maybe a hundred columns. But your form your your website's not going to be able to handle that. Form elements are just not going to work well in that many columns. So you have to be mindful of that as you're building out columns. But you can build as many columns as you want and you can put as many things in each column so it's not just a single field in a column you can put multiple fields in it and you can readjust those as you want and dial those in however you like so that's layout and styles we hope you enjoy it uh, if you have if you're using ninja forms and not using layout and styles i encourage you to get it today uh, that's the exciting part is ninja forms layout and styles is available today to start using and playing with so I uh, hope you uh, give it a try and let us know what you think. Talk to you later.